Hi, this is our tiny house. We call it tiny. I wanted you to be able to see the solar panels. There's eight on top. As you walk into tiny, you walk in first on the kitchen. There is a pegboard up here with little hooks to hang pots and pans. The sink is a double-sided sink. This is a cutting board that goes over one side so that you have more kitchen countertop space. There's a freezer and a fridge. There are drawers underneath for food or supplies. There's also space underneath the sink uh, where uh, the plumbing is. Toaster oven. And there's a single burner also that comes with the freezer and the fridge. That's when you walk straight into tiny. Now, if you turn to your right, you can see the living room, the staircase, and the loft. The futon that sits right here folds out into a double bed. And if we continue to walk in tiny... You can see the wood-burning stove. It's actually a boat um, wood-burning stove. So it's perfect for tiny and small spaces. We have extra fire proofing all around it that you don't need for this particular model. But we wanted to put it in just in case. We store... The extra table, kitchen countertop space, whatever you want to use it for, by the stairs, but it fits nicely right there as well. This is the closet underneath the loft. This is where, to your left, we have the inverter for the solar panels, and we have all the batteries down here, eight batteries. And then we have the curtain rod, a couple of shelves in the closet, and plenty of storage space. We usually put down the curtain just to keep the closet stuff out of view and usually keep the extra uh, table space just right there out of the way of the stairs. Let's go up the stairs now to the loft. There's a king size bed, super comfortable king size bed. Three windows up here. The back one opens so you can get a cross breeze through the house on warm days. There's a little uh, storage, a couple of couple of shelves. The stairs each have storage in them. And if you're looking from the loft down, you can see the TV um, holder up there and the decorations on the roof and into the kitchen and the bathroom. Now we'll go see the bathroom. Got another little window that opens again for a cross breeze. It has got a vanity with storage in it. It's got a dry flush toilet and then it has a full shower. Next to the shower, it's kind of the mechanical closet, if you will, there's a 50 gallon water tank. The hot water heater, the switch to turn the pump on that pushes the water to the shower and on the other side to the kitchen sink. And we just store our vacuum cleaner there as well. And there's another cork board for, or not cork board, peg board for um, cleaning supplies. Above the futon there is a large window. The bottom two panels 
open. So if you have this whole panel open, this whole panel open, the door, both windows, one in the bathroom, one on top of the bed, uh, you get plenty of breeze through here. I wanted to show you the trailer hitch outside as well as the exhaust pipe that goes to the little pellet stove, a little wood stove. 